Welcome to episode 909. Li Shiting, richest self-made billionaire in Singapore. Eight lessons. This is an outline of episode 909. Lesson one to lesson four. This is lesson five to lesson eight. Lesson one: Singapore is a safe haven. Well, safe haven from what? From tax? From the United States? For example, Eduardo Sovereign. Some estimated he saved seven hundred million dollars in capital gain tax by becoming a Singapore citizen. Please watch episode four fifty eight of this channel. Well, for mainland Chinese billionaires immigrating to Singapore, is this an emerging trend? Let's take a look at his picture. Li Shiting is just one of many mainland Chinese billionaires in Singapore. Lesson two: He's the medical equipment king of the world. This is one of Min Ray's many products. This one costs around ten thousand dollars. We can also say he got lucky because of COVID nineteen bonanza. He became a billionaire only in twenty eighteen. As in three higher top notch scientists. 高中嘛，那靠什么？那光靠营销都不行。你必须要有好的东西，要有好的产品。所以在这个方面呢，我们还是对开发人员、研究人员还是有比较大的倾斜。一个是对于优秀的人才，我们感恩高薪聘请。Lesson four: Heavy research and development. Mind Ray plowed back ten percent of revenue into R and D, and twenty percent of employees working on R and D. Lesson five: Next ten years will be the golden age of medical equipment. Let's look at this graph of government spending on healthcare. Lesson six: Benefits of public listing. 一八年我们也在 A 股上市，所以呢，在 A 股上市也给公司带来了巨大的发展，不光是资金上的发展，这个支持，还有这个呃品牌的支持，呃、以及这个。Lesson seven, beating the competitors. 能够跟他比拼，那我们也有这个成功的经验。比如说我们坚果一，那我们在中国市场已经占到百分之五十五以上了。那我们把基费的库两家都打败了，那我能打败你一个，我就有希望打败你十个。Lesson eight: He's a true globalist. First, he studied and did research in Paris, France, from 1982 to 1984. Second, he's now living in Singapore. Third, he also spent three decades in Shenzhen. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.